and welcome back to my channel. My name is Karin Odermatt and today we are going to look at the chest stand without hands. It's similar to the shoulder stand, it's just a different variation. This time we are on the front. Um, I do like it, it's a real nice move. But before we start, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It does help a lot or leave a comment below or give me a thumb up if you like what you see. Let's go to the move. I recommend that you start this move hanging in your knees. So I will turn around so you see my chest towards you. So you are going up, hanging in your knees and you are passing the hoop. So this is the first thing you have to do because you want to balance on your chest. The actual balance is not going to be on your chest only, it's also your shoulders. So your hands are from the back diving through and grabbing here and you are placing your shoulders on the hoop. So this is the first thing that you are doing, placing your shoulders on the hoop like this, so you have some stability and then you're straightening your arms out so you are producing like a, a, a stable board. The next thing you do is that you are going through with your leg from the front to the back. You have to choose one leg that you are taking there. And then you lean a little bit down, push into the shoulders and into the hoop. The, your elbows almost push into the hoop and then you straighten the legs, both of them. And you are in your chest. Balance there. To come out, bend the leg that was in front first, grab the hoop and come through with the second one. From there, you can go wherever you want, heel hang or whatever you want to do afterwards. This is already the entire move. There is not so much more to say. The important thing is that you are having the stability on your shoulders and chest here. So you make sure that you are kind of coming down so much. So you have the stability here and not on your throat. You want to be a little bit lower. Also the pressure you have, you feel that you can push a little bit backwards as well into the hoop. So there is a connection between your shoulders and the hoop. So you lock your body in there. You have two legs. One is in the front, one is in the back. They also can push against each other. There you find ex uh, extra stability as well. So use all these points. Make sure you have a soft mat under, make sure you have someone to hold you first when you do it. And once you feel safe, you release your hands. So this is basically everything you need to know for this move. I really hope you like it. Or tag me with your try of it. My name is Karin Odermatt Coach on Instagram. And if you have any questions or anything you want to talk with me about, leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here and see you next Wednesday for a new tutorial. Bye!